Hello, hello, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. So today we're gonna be talking about a little MagSafe, the phones that are compatible with MagSafe and the phones that are not compatible with MagSafe because there's still a lot of misunderstanding when it comes to MagSafe. Uh, everyone thinks most of the phones are still compatible. While wow, that's not true because MagSafe came out around the iPhone 12. So obviously that means anything before the 12 is not gonna be MagSafe compatible. Now that doesn't mean you can't use it to charge your phone. It just, it doesn't work the same way, like 12 and above. So we're gonna look at the wireless charger first. Not Apple branded, kind of cool. It's got a little kickstand, um, but you'll see right here it doesn't stick properly you know no no sticking same with the se third gen not very no mag okay it's not bad with the se because it is third gen more more updated but um doesn't work like the iphone 13 you'll see right here i can literally pick up the phone of that MagSafe connection. Same with this little bootleg wallet. It's just a little ridge wallet with a MagSafe connector. You'll see right here. Nothing here. Not bad, but this this is a very, really strong magnet. Um, you'll see on this one. See, like that's not gonna fall. That's not falling. And then last, I have a little battery pack. Anchor battery pack. MagSafe compatible, of course. You're gonna see right here. Look. Nope. Nothing with the SC. Can't even pick it up, barely sticks and with the iPhone 13 and it's charging. So that's our three little MagSafe demonstrators. Um, the reason you would want to use MagSafe, obviously wireless charging. Uh, I prefer this for overnight charging specifically because overnight charging on a 30 watt charger really isn't good for your phone. Um, these support up to 15 watts, so it's a little bit slower of a charge. Um, if you really, really wanna be safe for your phone overnight, do like a five watt or just don't charge your phone overnight. That's the best thing for its battery health. Now you see the bootleg Apple wallet. Um, obviously it's very convenient just to slide it in your pocket on top of your phone. And then we have the MagSafe Anchor Battery Pack. Again, very, very convenient. Just plop it on your phone and starts charging. And these usually have up to like 10,000 milliamp. That could probably give you almost two charges on a phone like the iPhone 13. So yeah, very convenient to have one of these, you know, very low profile not super uncomfortable in the pocket. Usually I, I'll sit um, with the with the charger in my pocket and I usually keep my phones in the back pocket. So even sitting on this, it's not very uncomfortable. Now I would always recommend having a MagSafe case, the ones with the little rings, they're compatible with MagSafe as well and they just enhance the connection as in like, it just makes it stick better. You see, that's not coming off, really. It's gonna be the same for the charger. And then this one's pretty cool. A little stand as well. And same for the wallet. And the wallet's connection's really, really strong. So that's definitely not gonna fall off. I could literally like, 
There we go, see? Now with that being said, that's gonna be the end of this shorter video. Um, not too, too much you could go in depth with about MagSafe, besides which phones are gonna be compatible, which are not gonna be compatible. Um, anything below the 12 doesn't work. The iPhone SE isn't terrible with MagSafe, but it doesn't stick very well. It's not, again, it's not designed with MagSafe in mind, but it does have a magnet in there to give you like the best of both worlds in between the X, XS and the 13. It's kind of like a mix of those. So not really recommended for this type of phone, but if you have a 12, 13, 14, 15, any of those family phones, they're gonna work for MagSafe. Um, and I do really recommend using MagSafe compatible chargers or battery packs. Even the wallets are pretty cool. Um, like I said, very low profile, very comfortable, and you can hold the same amount of cards like a normal wallet would be able to. So yeah, that's gonna be the end of the video. Um, if you're enjoying the content, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe because we're always going to bring out new videos another thing is if you have any questions about iphones or androids or even home wi-fi leave them in the comment section and i'll make a video on them explaining them in depth uh, with that being said thank you guys for watching the video and take care